friends i will show you some steps need to uh, remember for creating user control for enterprise portal website in ax2012 uh, this is a tedious task for to create a user control we need to uh, very attention we need to be in attention mode to not forget to steps so to start uh, creating user control for enterprise portal i will show you the step but not the whole solution so you will get the idea how uh, to proceed to create a user control for enterprise portal you get you first you open the visual studio project then you select on new then project see here by default it may be dotnet 4.0 version for your template but you need to select dotnet 3.5 it's uh, uh, it will work fine then here you need to go to install templates here you will see microsoft dynamics ax then click on ap web applications and here you, be, you can select your visual studio project path it can be your own folder you can give name of the your web application here test so it is your solution name then click ok there are a lot of lot of options you not you need not to go in other places and don't be confused and click ok look here default is coming if you want to add a user control then you just go to add new item a lot of options are there to create you just need to go to microsoft dynamics ax and click ep user control then web control one is showing here dot ascx action if ep is not installed then it will not allow to create an a to ud file but i am just only showing you the steps how to create i have tried in other systems here these are the aot elements you will see web menus web content web menu items then here page definition here web user control here you can see all your previous web user control your new created web user control is also showing there if you want to add anything to your user control just you can go you like you want to add one table you can go to your source of design and if you want to keep create a table like then you need to keep table row then column td and in between if you want to place any control then you can place your control like you want to paste uh, button control and you will see in your design button control will come these are the 
ax power part in fourth part you can add you want to go code side then here you will see your class section you do you can do all your codes After that, you're doing your coding, you're designing, you need to build, rebuild your uh, web control should be error free and next steps, just open the Dynamics AX. I will not teach you how to design the user control but i am just giving the idea after you can uh, you want to link any report srs report then you got just go to your toolbox See X report viewer is the is available. You can put your X report viewer to your design section. After that, if you want to set any parameter, then you, you want to like write lookup. Then you need to write a lookup code here, and you need to pass the parameter by code for reports. Design the user control. Once you did that, then you need to go to web page, web files, web control. Just you need to deploy it. Deploy element. If it is success, then you go to page definition and need to create. Uh, create new uh, page definition once you deploy your web control it will come under the manage you need to go manage here you uh, need to create new manage user control content item just see any property it's user control placeholder and you can give label and objects after doing this you just need to create you can directly deploy this to ep once it comes under manage content then your user control will enable at ep site to aid in web parts i have created other slides and videos how to add user control to web parts I hope by this step uh, you will get idea how to start to create user control, how to uh, add to your EOT user control, how to create, create manage web contents. So creating user control is uh, not uh, so difficult. One thing you have to remember, uh, you should not uh, write extra code any like like you have get button and on button click if you, there is a event you leave blank as a button click then you will face error during the attaching to your web parts I hope you have get an idea an idea how to uh, create uh, user control you can create a SSL report using graph you can attach that SSL report to user control 
and right user control you can attach to a role center page to design in fine manner your user control and role centers if you have any doubt you can ping on comments i hope if i get time so i will answer your questions for the enterprise portal and uh, web controls and user controls and if you like uh, my videos and channels and i am requesting again you to subscribe channels and it's uh, not to link videos to youtube only for you it's also help for me because today i have created and i know the steps but after sometimes we can forget so if it is remain on youtube or that we can retain our knowledge by watching again the videos i am also suggesting what you work daily basis you also need to upload and you to you will be remain uh, remain live on your contents on your learning and thanks for watching this clip